Gold, he weighed in 134 and one quarter pounds. In 20 professional bouts, he brings an outstanding record standing at 18 victories, one defeat, one draw with 15 big wins coming by way of knockout, presentando de Maracaibo, Venezuela, the kid, Roger Gutierrez. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Where's tonight? Red and gold. He weighed in 135 pounds and in 13 professional bouts, stands perfect with 13 victories, no defeats, five wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from and fighting out of San Antonio, Texas, here is the undefeated Hector El Finito Tanahara Jr. And your referee in charge of the action, Wayne Hedgeman. Okay, we went over your instructions in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all times, and above all, protect yourself. Touch him up and come back out. Let's take a look at the Tecate tail of the tape for Tanahara Gutierrez here on Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN. Just a two-year age difference between these two fighters. The height favors Tanahara by the slightest margin, and the reach also favors the San Antonio, Texas fighter by three inches. I'm Bernardo Osuna, joined by Joel Diaz. Later on, our ringside reporter Beto Duran will also join us. And a quick start from Roger Gutierrez, who last time he was in this same building, he was undefeated and he was stopped by Rene Alvarado in a huge upset. So Finito Tanahara told us, I know that he wants to make a good impression in his second chance here at the Velasco. Obviously he, he comes back to the Velasco where he lost. Now he wants to prove himself. You know, he wants to take Tanahara's undefeated record and prove himself and get back on track. And what, what he's got in his hands right now, he's got a tough, tough opponent which is Tanahara, a great kid, great fighter, a lot of skill, a lot of amateur experience, and he's a great fighter. He's, he's, he's coming up, he's a young, up-and-coming fighter from Golden Boy from Golden Promotions. Our own Beto Duran has some information on Gutierrez, who wasn't too friendly at the weigh-in, Beto. No, he wasn't friendly at the weigh-in. He said, Vini, I got not. I came to win. Talked to him because he was getting his hands wrapped. He said, the last time he was in this building, he got stopped by Rene Alvarado. He said, do you have any kind of revelation about that? He said, that was then. I'm a different fighter you'll see tonight. You know, matchmaker Roberto Diaz was telling me that at that point they signed Gutierrez and he said, I don't care who you put in front of me, put me in against anyone, I'll take anybody. And then the Rene Alvarado fight happened and he realized, hey, there's levels to this and sometimes, Joel, you've got to protect fighters from themselves, especially when they're brash and young. Exactly, because, you know, they're young, they have, they have a, long, a, a long time ahead. Stop, stop, well, stop, nice left up. hand there from Gutierrez, and then three or four rabbit punches, rabbit punches that Wayne Hedgebeth warns him on, but that left hand kind of sent Tanahara back towards the ropes. Gutierrez is very committed. As you can see, he keeps coming forward. He's trying to land that right hand, and uh, he's got good defense. He's moving his head pretty good. Oh, low blow there from Finito Tanahara. I don't think the referee saw that. Here there's a timeout from Wayne Hedgebeth. Roger Gutierrez has 15 knockouts in 18 wins. Time back in, but I've yet to see a fighter who can take that shot, Joel, and keep on taking it. Yeah, it was, it was perfectly timed. But you know, those are accidental punches as well. Sometimes it's, it's at, the wrong, at the wrong time, but Gutierrez keeps looking for the right hand. And uh, Tanahara is, He's, he's using his distance well, but he's pulling back at some at sometimes and exposing himself for the right hand. Hopefully he can make that adjustment as the rounds go. Uh, when he works off the jab, it's very tough to get to. He says that he really wants to get stopping Slim. He feels that this is the stage of his career where he'll no longer just be a boxer. He'll be stopping guys, especially as they move up in level like Roger. How do you feel his power? One to ten. Six. Nothing much? Okay. Still, he's, you know, he's still fresh, okay? 
So don't don't exchange right now. Keep back back to the jab. Keep using the jab. Jab step back. Jab again. Jab hook. All right. Right now at this point there's still no need to go to the body because when you go to the body, you're you're staying. Here we see the, uh, he tries to reach in there with, with a hook. I think Tanahara lowered down a little bit too much. And when he threw that hook, he landed right there. It was, it was low, but, but it wasn't an intentional punch. Yeah, he made Gutierrez miss and at the same time ducked down and went absolutely low and then landed a shot to the head. So that double hook, if he can land it legally to the Three. liver and then back. to the top of the head, step that'll do some back. damage. It sure will. Robert, Gar Robert Garcia told Tanahara, don't, don't go looking for him yet, you know? Hey, wait a little bit and don't go for the body yet. You know, he's, because if he goes to the body, I think he'll, he'll get caught with an uppercut because Gutierrez is very determined to use that right hand. All right, Brick, let him out, let him out, let him out. Way Tanahara uses his, hand his hand legs to get out, break. and they're on the break. You know, you've got to protect yourself at all times, but, you know, trying to take advantage there. And Wayne Hedgepeth looks Watch at him. Footing. What? That's boxing. All right, it's let boxing, and right now, either fighter, okay. neither fighter has gotten their timing yet. They're a little unco uh, uncoordinated as far as their timing. You know, hopefully, you know, as the rounds go, they time their punches a little better. They get to get, get the distance, the timing, better punches, because they're missing a lot. They're just throwing, but they're not landing the, the right shots yet. I mean, if those numbers are right, Tanahara's thrown almost 200 punches in a round and a half. I mean, that's a very, very high rate. And the referee, Wayne Hedgepeth, with the warning for Gutierrez. Once again, those rapid punches, and we've seen that in boxing, those are starting to be taken a lot more seriously after the accidents that we've had in the ring. Yeah, they do a lot of damage, especially behind the head. Those punches, uh, one after another, and as the fight goes, it can it can cause some severe damage to the fighter. Jab of Finito Tanahara once again moving laterally, and then inside Gutierrez keeps complaining, but that was a legal shot. It was a legal shot, and at the same time, he's, he's lunging in and he's falling in the pocket where they end up in a clinch. So all they have to do is just figure out their their what distance the so where they can work and not fall in the clinch. lunging with that right and then he lunges with the jab but he's quick to bring it back he's a very disciplined fighter uh Fumito Tanahara Tanahara has a great jab if he can if he can just jab jab to the chest a little more you know he'll be more effective he's, I think he's throwing his, his jab a little too high and that's what he's missing right there right to the chest right to the body and then he gets some angles get some angles move around make Gutierrez throw and counter -act. 10 seconds, stop at the bell. Break, break, stop punching, stop punching, step back. Stop at the bell. Time.
Hector Tanahara Jr. has been considered the best fighter out of San Antonio in over a decade. Going back to Jesse James Leja, Tony Ayala Jr., former world champion. And uh, he's got a lot of building to live up to, but so far so good in his 13th fight pro career. The one thing he would like to do more is get knockouts, get stoppage wins. Yeah, he wants to be a more, a, a more explosive fighter. And we can see there's a lot of great fighters coming out of Texas. You know, we see uh, one great, great no fighter, person, Virgil no Ortiz, which is tonight on the, on the main event. A great, uh, great fighter from from Texas, Earl Spence. Uh, Texas has created a lot of a lot of great fighters, and I think Tanahara is, is one of them. But like he says, he wants to be able to get more knockouts, to create more attention, you know, to break, be that, break, that highlighted Step fighter back. where oh, he's executing his opponents. And for that, well, he needs to be a little bit more composed. He needs to build a little bit more, um, more power in his punches, land better shots, get better timing. And right now, he's pulling back as he's throwing his punches. He needs to sit, sit on his punches a little more no and spinning, exchange. No he mentioned the fact when he was dropped by Daniel Perales, came back to win, but that kind of made him a little bit of gun shy. But let's take a listen to Beto Duran, who was in both corners. What were the instructions, Beto? Now with Tanahara in his corner, they said this is exactly the type of fight they expected. See, Feo is Está Agarrando, which is grabbing him. They said the experienced fighter, that's what they knew he was going to do to muck it up against the younger Tanahara. So they said eventually they're going to start going to the body and chop it down. Robert also, remember, I sparred Mikey Garcia. That's who I threw up against Tanahara almost every single day. Now in the corner of his rival Gutierrez, he has a new trainer. Yuka Morales met him on Tuesday. Now Yuka is known around Southern California, knows everybody, but he said Gutierrez's camp called him up and said, we want you to work with this guy for this fight. Yes, uh, thank you, Beto. He's originally trained by Nicolás Hernández in Venezuela. That's where he did his camp, but due to visa issues, his trainer could not join him here in Los Angeles. So that's why Mario Yuka Morales stepped in, and you are correct about everybody knowing Yuka from his days with Jesus Soto Caraz, Daniel Ponce de Leon, and so many other fighters here locally. Edwin Valero. Yep. That's that was with Edwin Valero too. Yeah, that guy was an explosive fighter. Here we see, we see a Gutierrez trying to get in there as Yuka told him. Pressure, pressure. Keep your hands up and pressure him, pressure him. But he's giving him the half distance. You cannot do that to Tanahara because Tanahara has great reach and he knows how to use it. So you gotta get inside. You gotta. You gotta close the distance every time. Throw combinations, close the distance, and try to wear him down. Nice overhand right there by Finito Tanahara. Who wants to really put an emphasis on Ten this round go. number three on Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN. Time. Fred, I'm gonna tell you I love the Tanahara. Beautiful. That was another good round, all right? Siguiente, gente, don't get careless, okay? It's one, one punch at a time, okay? Jab, jab, right hand, and mueva se, okay? Because you stay there too long, he throws that, that he throws he throws those hard punches, okay? Keep that jab going. Here we see Tanahara in front of making him miss that jab and coming over with the right hand. That was a perfect timing. Yuka Morales, who is giving the instructions in Roger Gutierrez's corner, said, hey, he's fighting like a robot. You need to use your right hand. Let's see if he's able to do it here in round four. The rounds are starting to tick. Favorable to Finito Tanahara, fighter out of San Antonio, Texas. No Tonight back of no Texas back fighters as our main event fighter is Virgil Ortiz out of the Dallas area. I don't know what you can see, and he's saying that <laughs> he has a fighter, he has a fighter in front of him like a pole, and I see Tanahara moving around the ring. He's using great forward, great angles, and uh, he's moving, he's coming back and countering. 
There you see another overhand right. Now the left from Finito Tanahara. Neko Tanahara is showing a lot of patience. You mentioned the fact that you wanted him to be patient to, you know, just kind of pace himself in this fight. He's been eight rounds before, so he's confident in his conditioning. He's Watch doing better. He's doing better up to this round because in the first round, he was moving a lot. His timing. Now he's getting his timing, and he's sitting more on his punches. That jab, the jab, he's landing it correctly. He just needs to exchange a little more, a little more on the inside. He's raising his head a little high. See, he's throwing one punch at a time when he needs to let go of his combination. Two, three punch combination. There we see Tanahara again using the jab, but he's not following up. I think he's he's more successful if he would go jab, jab, right, follow it straight through, he, and then stay inside and work the body a little more. And it's something you would expect of a Robert Garcia type fighter in terms of you know being more offensive. But well, sometimes when you spar against Mikey Garcia, you start to take less shots. And there you see the combination punching of Hector Finito Tanahara sending Gutierrez back into the ropes. Let's take a look at the power punches so far through four rounds and only 54 thrown by Tanahara compared to 20, uh, 63 by Gutierrez who's landed 20 of those. So a lot more effective from Tanahara but nothing substantial yet. Nothing. It's I mean, at this point, neither fighter has done any damage with, with any fighter. There we go with Tanahara again. He's got good movement. When, when he sees that jab coming, he just moves to the side and throws a right hand. But he stops there. He needs to follow up. If he knows that he's going to land that punch, he needs to come back, come back to the left, to the body, or a left uppercut. Shots to the back as uh, they're tied up. And some veteran moves from him because he does it at an angle where the referee seconds, can't the see them. So taking uh, advantage uh, no, holding, no, holding. of these first four rounds is Hector Finito Tanahara. Time. I'm telling you, keep that fight at the, at the jab. Don't listen to whatever the crowd's saying, okay? Yeah, no, 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 nada de eso, nada de eso, nada de eso. El tal se te luce a ti en el pesaje, okay? Entiende? Ni madre. Esta expresión no sabía qué hacer, que hago de trabajarlo, pero tienes que pucharlo para atrás. All right, second half of this. Time, time. Go right there. Go right there. Get the water We're in the up. second half now of this scheduled eight rounder. Fifth round between Hector Finito Tanahara and Roger Gutierrez. Referee Wayne Hedgepet says, hey, there's a patch of water. And, you know, it takes a veteran referee to see that stuff, Joel. Yeah, that's the experience he has. They, they catch a lot of things that we don't see sometimes. The water, the Vaseline. Yes, obviously. All right, well, between rounds, I heard... Robert Garcia telling Hector Tanahara, remember what happened at the weigh-in. Beto Duran has more on that. At the weigh-in, Tanahara put his hand up to shake the hand of the Venezuelan Gutierrez. Gutierrez left him hanging and started barking. I asked Tanahara about that. He said, look, I'm a professional. I have class, but I'm going to come in here to beep him up. Oh, yeah. Beep, thank you very much, Beto. This is a family show. We appreciate you using restraint. Tanahara did not, and neither did Robert Garcia in the corner. He said, remember what he did to you at the weigh-in. Use that as motivation and go get him. I mean, sometimes you can get in your fighter's head. Is that a, a good way of doing it, Joel? You have to. You have to generate energy in your fighter. Why? So that you can open up that, that aggression in him. And you're going to get in there and look for what you, what you need to find. And that's the victory. And you have to generate energy. You have to sometimes be aggressive and remind them certain things that are very important. Yeah, they can open up, open up their eyes and bring a little bit of, uh, of ambition to go in there and look for something. You know, a very famous line from 
Buffalo Martin to Julio Cesar Chavez. Do this for your family. Do this for your kids. Do this for your country. I mean, that's basically nothing gets you, especially during World Cup season, more into the fight than talking Three. about that, that stuff. But that something that very concrete from Robert, Robert Garcia in this particular case. And Tanahara just working on the jab, trying to establish that. Gutierrez still hasn't found the key to get inside Tanahara's guard. This round, um, Gutierrez started off a little aggressive. He landed a good right hand on, on, on Tanahara. And, you know, this round has been, has been a, little, a little closer than the other round. Now Gutierrez is opening up a little more, throwing more punches. He's, a, he's feeling a little bit more confident now. See, he's moving, he's dodging the jab now. He's not, he's not getting caught with the jab. Look, he landed a, 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 a two-punch combination, and, and he's right there. He's fighting back. He's still, he's still trying, he's still trying to find that one punch. There he lands with the right hand again. And then Tanahara comes back right, with a combination out, of his out, own, and out. now stop, it's Gutierrez stop. tying up Tanahara. A warning from yeah. the referee, Wayne Hedgebeth, once again. And their heads are getting a little too close. No damage right, so go, far. Box, box. Gutierrez keeps looking for Hedgebeth to break them and, and give Tanahara more warnings, but not so much. Those are signs of frustration because he sees that every time they come in a clinch, you know, Tanahara Stop at the bell. frustrates them in, on the inside. Huh. You don't let him steal the rounds at the end, eh? That's what he's trying to do, trying to steal the rounds at the end, okay? Round six of a scheduled eight rounder alongside Joel Diaz. I'm Bernardo Osuna with Ringside Reports tonight. Is Beto Duran. So we've got a complete crew here from the Velasco Theater. Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN. Very glad you can join us this evening. Benito Tanahara with the red trucks trimmed in gold, putting his unbeaten record on the line, 13-0 with five knockouts, taking on Roger Gutierrez of Maracaibo, Venezuela, whose only loss happened right here and there. He looks to the referee once again, Wayne Hedgefred for help, gets not none, and he gets pummeled by Finito Tanahara. He started with that bad habit from the beginning, you know, started getting frustrated on the clinches, so now he's trying to look at the referee every time, and that's gonna cost him, that's very dangerous, because when you look towards the ref, you don't know what's coming, you're still in the fight. And when you turn to the ref, any punch can hit you. You can always keep your hands up, keep your eyes on your, on, on your opponent, because you can get hurt. I mean, how frustrated, frustrating is it as a trainer when you see your fighter doing that? Well, well it's frustrating because you need, to, you need to stay focused on your fight. You have to forget about the rest. Let the referee do his job. You gotta go out there and do your own, which is what Finito Tanahara is trying to do here against Roger Gutierrez. Tanahara is doing his thing. He's, 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 he's staying composed. He's trying to find new openings. As you can see, he's trying to, he's making adjustments now by, by trying to keep him outside because Gutierrez is trying to bring him into the road. He's trying to come in. Tanahara is moving. He's moving his feet a little more now. Moving in angles. Throwing the left hook is very effective, but he needs to follow up. If he lands the left hook and then follows up with the right hand, he could do some damage to Gutierrez. It's a big if. Tanahara still holding back a little bit. He talked about wanting to be more composed in this fight. And at this stage in your career, uh, he wants to be more of a knockout fighter, but should he just kind of understand this is who he is and just kind of work with his skills? Yes, he should. He should understand that 
sometimes there's natural power. And you try to build power, but I mean, I'm a true believer that fighters are already born with natural power. And when they got that knockout punch, you know, it's already, it already comes with it. And Tanahara is a great boxer. He's a great boxer. He can he can make anybody look bad in there because he has great experience. He has great uh, footwork, boxing ability. There he gets hit Stop with punches. two Stop good punches. punches. A good Stop straight that. right hand. And he proves Listen that he can also you. take a good shot. He's only been on the canvas on one occasion as a pro. That was against Daniel Perales. Roger no Gutierrez has never been down no in his career, although Ten he was stopped by Rene Alvarado. The corner threw in the towel right here in the seventh round of that fight. Done. Two more rounds, okay? Here we see Tanahara throwing a straight right, which he ended up in a clinch. And as soon as Gutierrez steps away, he drops his defense and he gets caught with two good punches. Shouldn't, didn't do anything to him, but he should always keep his hands up because he's very, very dangerous. He's talking more than he's fighting. And even in his corner, they're quite frustrated with the fact that his punch output just does not match Finito Tanahara. So he comes out aggressive here right, in the seventh round. Out. They understand Step they only back. have less than six minutes Step left to turn this fight around. Yes, and he's getting that little urge of doing something. But he, you know what he's trying to do? What Gutierrez is trying to do is trying to land that one punch to finish the fight. Right, and you can do that. They were going to go again. They the He turns his back. He's trying to get the ref to assist him in some, in some way. I mean, at some point, you've got to realize that help's not coming, right? I mean, there you see a, a rabbit punch from Finito Tanahara. Nice jab that snaps back the head of Gutierrez. He does it once more. Yeah, right now, Gutierrez is just frustrated. He's, and every time he turns, which is, is a bad habit, he will get hit behind the back, behind his head, and it's all his fault because of his style, the way he stands, the way he turns, and the way he breaks the clinch. There's another right to the back of the head, and he ducks down, and Kinito Tanahara already has the punch in the air. Those are punches that are very inev head. inevitable because when you're already throwing your punch and your opponent is coming, it's lowering down. Of course, you're going to let go of the punch, and it's going to land right behind your head. All right, stop, stop, stop. So far, Box. Tanahara has been kept, has been keeping his composure. He's been using great punches, putting them right where he wants. He's not, he's not getting frustrated. If he would, if he would get frustrated, he'll fall into Gutierrez's game plan. You don't want to do that. First of all, you don't want to fall into your opponent's game plan. You got to keep your own, your own plan, and stick to it. Be calm. And smart. My, my, All right, minute time, left here, time. round number seven. Beto you. Duran, what's the plan in Tanahara's corner? Exactly what you're saying, Coach. Be careful with that one punch from Gutierrez. Robert Garcia said, we know we can really get after him, but he feels like he's winning comfortably. So he said there's no need to take a risk because they know that Gutierrez is desperate right now and trying to land that one shot. He said, if we really wanted to, we could take him out, but we're going to try to go the distance and get the victory. All right, that fifth round was probably the best round for Roger Gutierrez out of Panama City, I mean, out of Maracaibo. Venezuela. He said, all of Venezuela will be watching me tonight. Everyone wants to see me become a future world champion. And he's got to step it up here in the last three minutes and 20 seconds that are left in this fight as Tanahara misses with the left and goes down on a slip. Nice right hand after going down. And Gutierrez trying to close strong here in the seventh round of a scheduled eight rounder.
mira, lo van a mandar con todo, ¿eh? Ok, lo van a mandar con todo, so. No creo que se, que se confíe. Two very different philosophies leading into this eighth and final round in the corner of Roger Gutierrez. They want him to go out there and give it his all. In Tanahara's corner, they want him to manage the fight, and if he gets an opening, take advantage. No rabbit yeah, because cut. Hector Tanahara no at this point, he's, he's dominated the fight. Come on. So play it safe. You know, if, if you can play the, the fight safe, move around, you know, use the ring, lateral movement, and keep Gutierrez outside, you'll be fine. Don't hold now, on the other hand, we got Gutierrez's corner telling him, you gotta go for it. You gotta go for the kill, go look for him, put him against the ropes, and don't let him get out. But that also means he's gonna open up, and that opens up the possibilities for Tanahara to count. In the exchanges, if Tanahara can really use use uh, Gutierrez's offense, he can catch him with good, with good counter punches. You see the total punches through the first seven rounds of this fight. 60 more thrown uh, by Gutierrez, but yeah. a lot more effective is Tanahara, who's landed three more at a 29% clip compared to 23% for Gutierrez. And overall, a lot more effective is Hector Finito Tanahara with his shots. Well, Tanahara has been, has been the, be the, the better fighter, landing the best shots through the whole fight. Keeps slipping. That's the second time he's gone down on the Tecate logo. Uh, let go, let go. Let go, no pushing, See, no, no more pushing. pushing, more wrestling between these two fighters. And you know I mean? 45 seconds left in this match. And how that works Bring to the body. Up. Didn't do much of that throughout the fight. This is the first, this is the first body shot he's landed that I've seen him land. And he shouldn't, I mean, and sometimes you have to make those changes. Right, you know, sometimes breathe, breathe, if, breathe, if one thing is not working for you upstairs, you gotta work downstairs. I mean, you got, you got, Eight rounds to make changes. You know, early rounds, go, middle rounds, and go. later rounds. You let gotta make changes. Go. Now, every Stop time they fall in the break. clinch because they break. started off wrong in the beginning, Box. now they're Stop trying hold. to wrestle in there, <laughs> trying to hold so that they won't get hit behind the head. Let me let me take you into the corner right now because I've seen you do this in fights. Robert Garcia, we've got a minute left of this Tanahara fight. He's break. got Virgil Ortiz, the main event fighter. Right now, what's going on through his mind? Is he still with Tanahara or is he thinking what he has to do with Virgil Ortiz? Well, let him, let him off his he's head. still here because break, break, stop, in reality, head. Virgil Ortiz has his father back. Uh, his father has always been the primary trainer, you know, in, 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 in his whole career. And nobody knows, nobody knows Virgil Ortiz better than his own father. So, uh, Robert Garcia's here, he's with Tanahara, but Virgil's back Don't there with his father, the and uh, he'll be ready. And Robert Garcia will come in and assist him in the corner while he's ready to fight. From a man who's lived through this experience, it's not easy, but there's a few men willing and able to do that as Gutierrez tries to close out round number eight as strong as he possibly can. And now he's cut over the left arm, the left side of the eye. But luckily for him, it happened late in this fight as out comes the mouthpiece. And there you see the sportsmanship between these two fighters. There was no handshake at the weigh-in, but there's definitely a lot more respect for one another after going eight full rounds head-to-head. -head. That's no sport of boxing. You know, it's a fight. The beginning at the end is all respect and friendship. That's exactly what fight fight game is all about and you know you go in there you try to beat up your opponent look at that gash over the left eye let's take a look at the end of the round and just how things happen here as it looks like Benito Tanahara should be on his way to his 14th professional win
that was a, a nice overhand right that, that was landed by Tanahara, but like before he landed the shot, the mouthpiece was already on the way out. Then he landed an overhand right to the head, which was another rapid punch. But nonetheless, Inito Tanahara looks to be on his way to another win. And what do you think of his performance tonight? It was a good performance. He was smart. It just styles make fights. You know, in the sport of boxing, styles make fights. And Gutierrez was not suitable for Tanahara to look good tonight because awkward style. He had an awkward style. Tanahara needs an opponent that can come and exchange with him. And Gutierrez was not the, the proper opponent for him. There you go. And the words of Joel Diaz. And as I mentioned, Robert Garcia Jr. is now in the corner as Robert Garcia Sr. is in the back with Virgil Ortiz, tonight's main event fighter. We invite you to join us next Saturday at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, as Gilberto Zurdo Ramirez puts his WBO super middleweight title on the line for the fourth time against Romer Alexis Angulo in our top-ranked boxing on ESPN main event in Oklahoma City. 12 rounds on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and streaming live on the ESPN app. We we'll hope you'll join us a day after we're in Cancun with Rashidi Atlas. Let's take a look at our final punch stats for this fight. In terms of punches thrown, well, Roger Gutierrez threw 67 punches more, but he landed only one more than Hector Tanahara Jr. But this is all about effectiveness, and I think that Hector Tanahara Jr. did a lot more work, especially with the jab, in terms of effectiveness compared to Roger Gutierrez. Let's take uh, listen to what Joe Martinez has to say in terms of tonight's decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. The totals are Dr. Lou Moret has it 80 72, Daniel Sandoval 79 73, and Jerry Cantu has it 78 74. All for your winner by unanimous decision. He is still undefeated. El Finito Hector Tanahara. Junior! 14 victories, five of those only by way of knockout, but nonetheless, his moniker is Finito, the fine boxer, and he proved to have the skills tonight. Great little boxer, great footwork, great jab. He knows how to use his distance. Great win for him tonight. All right, our own Beto Duran is in the ring with the winner. The victors. Hector Tanahara, it was tough, it was rugged. You expected this, how do you feel like you did? Uh, I feel like I did pretty good. I give myself B plus. Um, a B plus, huh? Yeah, I could've done a little better, but I mean, it was a, a tough, <laughs> rugged, ugly, ugly fighter, but I got the job done. Yesterday at the weigh-in, he left you hanging. You say you're a uh, professional, you have class, no, no. you have respect. It looked like you took this real serious and animosity between you two in the ring. Yeah, definitely. You know, I didn't like how he, how he was acting in the weigh-ins, and I was showing it in the fight, and he was acting like a little girl during the fight. <laughs> You were looked like you guys were talking and it just looked ugly tonight though. Yeah. But you got the victory. When you go back and you look at this film, how do you feel you're gonna adjust? Uh just look at little mistakes I made. Um, um just listen to my corner, uh, see what, what mistakes I made and work on them in the gym. You spar with Mikey Garcia, how much did that help you tonight? Uh, it helped me out a lot. It helped me stay composed. Um, working with a fighter like Mikey Garcia, I mean this guy was was tough, but it was nothing like sparring them. El Finito, Hector Tanahara goes back to San Antonio with a victory, Bernie. Thank you very much, Beto. I don't think much compares to sparring Mikey Garcia, one of the finest uh, fighters pound for pound in the world today. So it was good enough for Hector Tanahara to improve to 14 and 0. Roger Gutierrez came in and gave a valiant effort and you see the sportsmanship after a long and hard fought battle. Another decision win for Hector Finita Tanahara, this time by unanimous decision. We're in Hollywood, yes, the Hollywood sign. You can never come to LA and not visit the Hollywood sign. And you can never come to LA and not have great fights in this great fight city. We'll be back with Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN.